Today we will be showing you how to replace a power supply in a Neo 200S and 400S tape library. This replacement procedure will apply to both the IBM and HP style machines. Downtime may be required for this replacement and should be scheduled with the system administrator prior to powering down the library. The only instance where downtime will not be required is if you have a 400S that has redundant power supplies and only one of them has failed. If this is the case, you can swap the failed supply while the library is still powered on. When we get to the point in the video where you are instructed to power the library down, you may skip this step and just follow the instructions for the replacement of the power supply. Please be advised, though the replacement is the same for both the 200S and the 400S, the power supplies are different for the two libraries. The difference is in the wattage of the supply. The 200S power supply is 90 watts, while the 400S power supply is 250 watts. The easiest way to tell the difference is that the 200S power supply does not have three LED lights on the back, while the 400S power supply does. If you need to order a replacement power supply from the Rocket Platform website, please use part number KM80 slash FL slash E slash C for the 200S power supply, and please use part number EOE120300001 for the 400S power supply. There are a couple of reasons that may cause you to need a power supply replacement for your 200S or 400S tape library. The power supply may be completely dead, or it may also have a fan that is spinning at too low of a speed or not spinning at all. If any of these events is occurring, you will need to replace the power supply. If this is the 200S, there will only be a single power supply in the rear of the machine. If it is a 400S, you may have redundant power supplies installed. If this is the case, you will need to determine which supply is faulted so that you can replace the proper one. The main power supply of the 400S is the bottom supply. If you have redundant power, there will be a second power supply installed in the second bay above the first one. These are power supplies 1 and 2, respectively. Once you have determined which supply you need to replace, you will need to power the library off if you haven't already done so. To do this, press and hold the power button and you will see a message that the library is powering itself down. Wait for the power down to complete and then you can move to the rear of the library. Once in the rear of the library, you will need to first unplug the power cable from the faulty power supply. Then, you will loosen the three blue thumb screws that hold the power supply in place. After all three of them are loosened, you can pull the power supply straight back and out of the library. Now you will install the replacement power supply. Carefully line up the supply with the guide rails in the empty power supply bay and push the supply in firmly until it is fully seated. Then, tighten down all three thumb screws and reinstall the power cord in the supply. Go around to the front of the library and hit the power button once to turn the library on and allow it to initialize fully. This may take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes depending on if it's a 200S or a 400S. If this is an IBM style 200S or 400S, once the library displays idle RAND or idle SEQ in the lower left corner of the display, the initialization is complete. If this is an HP style 200S, once the library displays the library name and the drive status is ready below it, the initialization is complete. If this is an HP style 400S, once the library status on the operator panel shows as ready, the initialization is complete. There should now be no error for the power supply on the library. If there is still a power supply error, or if the library does not power on once the replacement is complete, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA video production team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.